Hi folks, I'm back. I just want you to look at this uh, iron coil motor. I've got it pretty well adjusted. My next attempt will be um, to put a Hall Effect driver here instead of the reed switch. But I promised you a good look at the waveforms, but first I'm going to show you something here. I've rearranged this. Now I'm running the positive of this diode back to the positive of this battery and the negative of the battery returns to the positive pole on the battery bank. So it's set up just like the monopole motor. And I just want you to see this. It's really humming away. It's at about 330 RPMs right now. I'm trying to get it in here so you can see it really good. I uh, brought home a big digital scope from work a storage scope so that we could actually look at the iron coil waveform since the nano wouldn't quite pick it up. Of course I'm still having a little bit of trouble with the lights but anyway um, you can see what this looks like. I'll spread it out a little bit. Now if I disconnect, let me put it back, if I disconnect the battery you'll see what's going to hit the reed here. And that's what destroys your reed right there. Because the reed can't handle that kind of spike. And it's pretty high. I've got it on a 10 times probe, so to not damage the scope. But see, I'll try to bring it down a little bit more. There's the spikes that actually get into the reed. And when I put it back on the recharge battery, this is what I get. So all that wasted energy then is recycled back off this diode. You have to make sure the polarity is right back uh, to the positive pole of this battery that I'm charging. And then the output from the battery, once again the negative terminal, is feeding back to the positive pole. So I just wanted you to see that. And again, I'm going to say the reason I made this was so that I could put any coil I wanted to in here and adjust it. But with an iron coil, you do not need to have an iron pole. So I'll give you another look at the waveform here. I'm going to bring it up for you. Spread it out. So you can see it there. I'm sorry about the glare, but I really can't do anything with the lights in here right now. I'll try to get better pictures for you with the copper coil and then the iron coil again and actually store this in the scope and uh, then put the two waveforms there so you can see what the difference is. Thanks for watching.